What's up folks and welcome to Math Walkthroughs with Mr. Weeb. Today we're looking at determining percents and this is lesson two in our your turn questions. Let's get right to the first question which says draw a picture that would help you estimate 62 percent of 318. Explain how the picture helps you. Okay I'm going to draw a number line. So here I have the number line, here's zero percent, here is 100%. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a landmark friendly number because I'm estimating. I don't, it doesn't have to be exact. So uh, for 318, I'm going to turn it into 300. So 100% would be there. Now we need to get to 62%. Well, I know that half is 50%. And 62%, may, maybe I can just do 60% of 318 and say it's a little bit more. So when I look at 60%, that's just a 50% plus a 10%, right? So what would 50% of 300 be? Well, half of 300 is 150. 10% to get to 10%, I'm just going to mark off everything right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so those are all the 10 percentages. And so I'm looking at what it goes right here at the 10%. In order to get from here to here, I need to divide by 10. And so that means that in order to get from here over to here, I also need to divide by 10. So when I'm dividing by 10, I can imagine that there is a decimal place right here, and I move it to the left one position. So that number at 10% is going to be 30. So this has become, this equation right here, 60% has become 50%, which is 150, plus 10%, which is 30. So that is 100 and 80. And that is the final answer. And I can explain how the picture helps me by saying something like this. The number line shows that with every 10% increase, the amount increases by about 30. All right, let's look at the next question, which says estimate each percent and show your thinking. Okay. For this question, I'm going to find some landmark friendly numbers. So I'm going to change 42% of 115 to 40% of 120. So I went down in the percentages and up in the actual number, and hopefully that will all even out. So when I look at this, I can see that 40% is just four groups, four groups of 10% of 120. And what is 10% of 120? Let's find out. 10% of 120 is like saying 0 0.1 times 120. If you were to plug this into a calculator, you would find that it is 12. But there's a simple math trick that you can do when you're multiplying something, or when you're finding 10% of something, all you need to do is move that decimal over one. When you're finding a tenth of something, just move it one to the left and you'll find it. So it's 12. So now we can just put this little bit, put this, plug that right in here. That replaces that. So what is four times 12? It is 48. And that is our estimate for this one. All right, next let's change this one. Instead of 17%, let's find a landmark friendly number. Let's do 20%, and instead of 295, we're very close to 300. So let's do 20% of 300. I can see that this is two groups of 10% of 300. And if we know that 10% of 300 is just 0 0.1 times 300, and we can see that if we do that and we move that decimal place over one, we're going to get 30. So let's plug this back in there and we find that it's 
2 times 30, which will give us 60, and that is our answer, or our estimate anyways. Finally, we have 76, 76% 76 of 399. 76% 76 is really close to 75%, and 399 is really, really close to 400. So let's find this. 75% is just 3 quarters, right? So uh, when I think of 3 quarters of something, I know that 3 quarters of 4 would just be 3. So 3 quarters of 400 would be 300. And we can we can find this out on a calculator if we wanted to change this to 0 0.75, that's the decimal form of the percentage, and the of becomes a multiplication, and we did this, we would find the exact same thing. 3 quarters of 400 is 300. Let's do the next page. Okay, here we have, now we have to calculate each percent. So here, all we need to do is we change this into a decimal, 0 0.22. The of becomes a multiplication sign, and that it stays 160. And if we type that into the calculator, we find the answer is 35.2. And when we have 39% of 229, we change it into a decimal by moving the, dec the decimal over two spaces to the left, multiply it by 221, and when we type that in to our calculators, we get 86.19. And finally, which number is 48% of 217? Here, uh, it's helpful to realize that 48% is very close to 50%. And 217 is very close to 200. And I think it's easy to see what is 50% of 200? It's going to be 100. And which of these is anywhere near 100? Well, I hope that we can all see that C is close to 100, and that is our answer. Thanks, everybody, for watching.